Okay, so here's the idea. I'm thinking I'm going to start this new series about chords. Um, and the way that I'm going to do it is to show you seven chords at a time, um, which are going to be based on the major scale. Um, I'm going to do it in C every time. And the idea is that I'll show you a different chord to use for every... Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's one is C, two is D minor, three is E minor, four is F major, five is G major, six is A minor, and then seven is this diminished kind of thing, which I normally substitute, and then back to C. So if you don't know the theory behind why those numbers are called that or what I'm doing, it's called harmonizing the major scale. So if you harmonize in triads, you get C major, D minor, E minor, etc. That's the basis of it. And then to get the sevenths and stuff, you just add another note on top. making these chords that are difficult to play. So that concept is called harmonizing the major scale. Firstly, I did it in triads there and then in sevenths. So that's something you might want to look up if you're wondering about kind of the theory behind this chord stuff. The reason that I play some of these chords is because quite early on, I decided that these sounds were not really the sounds of bar chords didn't really fill me with much inspiration. The first thing I'm going to show you is the chord that I play instead of chord 1 or 4. So in C major, that would obviously be C major, uh, I play this instead quite often. So we've got a C. Then you're going to want to block off the A string with the fat part of this finger. Then an A. Then a D. And then a G. So it's kind of a C6 add 9. No third. You can also add in the 7 if you want. And that replaces chord 1. Uh, to me, it's got kind of a more open sound. Um, you can also use this for chord four. So if we're in C, that'll be an F. So those are the places that I'd use that kind of chord. Then we come to D minor. Um, so for this, I'm going to suggest this kind of chord. So that's kind of a 9, sus4. So I've got the D there, the A, then an E, and then a G. And that's probably what I would do is resolve it, or just that kind of thing also works quite nicely. So, so we've got those two. Then for the E, um, E minor, we need a form of. I quite like this if it's in the third place. So E, D, G, uh, A, D. I think it's like an E minor 11. E, D, G, A, D. Again, quite an open sound. And then for chord four, I really like this kind of voicing. So we've got an F, 
another two or nine to G. Then that's C. And that's an E. Seven. And then the third in the top. You can also use that for the one, so if you put a C in the bass, and then we come to a G. So I quite like the sound of a suspended fifth um, or suspended dominant. So G, G, F. and then D obviously you can resolve that so it's like a sus4 or well, we could play it then A minor what could we do interesting for A minor oh this one's good So A, E, B, C, G. It's not the most movable chord shape, but for instance, if we wanted to do a D minor like that, we could do it in that kind of way, or kind of a similar thing to what I had going on with the D. A minor and then for the B uh, which is the seventh degree we're going to try a G in first inversion because I don't particularly like this kind of sound so a B a G a D and then another G you can put an A in the top if you want to spice things up. So, again, from the start, C, add 6 and 9. D minor. And F. Uh, A minor. So try and get those into your playing, um, maybe not all of them at once, but if there's like a progression that you're playing, a tune, try and substitute in one or two of them and uh, see if you can get them into your playing. Uh, I'll put the tab up for this on Patreon just to demonstrate these chords. Um, hopefully there's one or two chords there that are new to you and that are, sound interesting. Um, I guess the real key to them is trying to get them under your fingers so you can pull them out without too much delay. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you think I should make more, um, I'm thinking this is kind of a good way to do it, kind of seven chords in the major scale at, at a time. Um, hopefully that will show you sort of my thinking with some of this stuff. If you uh, like and subscribe, share this video around, that would be super helpful to me. Um, I think people are telling people to hit the bell notification, so if you want to do that, go for it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and see you for the next one.